In order to provide first-class support for the Windows Presentation Foundation Library, Visual Studio 2008 comes with the XAML Designer. Let's take a look. We'll start by creating ourselves a Visual Basic WPF application. There we go. That has a main window, and that will automatically open up in the XAML Designer. Now you can see that the XAML Designer, unlike previous designers, has two panes. The top pane is the visual element that we're familiar with, and the bottom pane is the XAML code for that. Now we can use normal drag and drop techniques to add components to the window, like so. We can also change the XAML code and see that the visual elements will sync automatically to the changes we make. Let's change the height of the progress bar that we added to match the button. And Now let's say we want both those components to take the entire horizontal space. We'll delete the horizontal alignment margin elements. There we go. And delete the width as well, and that will make them automatically sized to the full size of the window. Now speaking of that window, let's go ahead and make it just big enough for our two controls, like so. Let's say we didn't want the user to actually be able to resize this window. How would we do that? Well, let's go to the window element here, and you can see as I type into the XAML, I actually get help on what I might want to enter. That's called IntelliSense. There we go. Now let's add some code for this button. Double click it. That will bring up the click event. And I'll add some code that I've written here that sends the progress bar off. And let's build and run that. And there you can see non-resizable window with my two controls. Click the button. There goes the progress bar.